What's up, YouTube? Happy Saturday morning. It is 40 degrees here in New York City, which is great because yesterday it was 15 degrees, and I don't like the cold. This is so nice. I'm just going to go to the beach, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing here today, and today we're doing product photography here at home in my home studio, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it at your home studio or in your kitchen or in your bedroom, your bathroom, wherever you want to do it, even on the streets, in restaurants, because everything you're going to learn right now will help you to do product photography anywhere, anytime, under any conditions. So let's jump into it. Let's have some fun. These are going to be some of the products I'm going to use today. I got a few more that I'm going to be jumping around from, but let's go. And before we get started, uh, my name is Matthew Dernan. I'm a photographer in New York City. And give this video a subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and let's jump into it. I'll see you in a second. Over there. I'm going to show you all the gear right now. All right. All right, guys, so I'm um, finally settled on a look that I like. Recently, back in May, I went to Florida for my birthday, and I kind of love Harry Potter, and I love magic in general. So I have some cards that I bought. I got some a wand. I got some atmosphere smoke spray that I'm going to add into this. I got the chocolate frog from the movie, and um, I got some Polygen's juice. I don't know what it is. It says it's sugar, so I'm going to try it for you guys, and... Uh, you could see the crazy face I make, but I got some broken pieces of glass that I got from the beach over the summer, and uh, I really just textured the hell out of this, so um, I'm going to take some shots now. We'll see how they come out. You'll see them as they go, and uh, yeah, abracadabra, right? Hey guys, for today, the gear I'm going to be using for this photo shoot is my Canon EOS R with my 50mm macro lens my 85 millimeter lens, my 35 millimeter lens, and my regular 50 millimeter lens, plus my tripod, the Manfrotto 550. I'm gonna do a multiple light setup with some aperture mini lights and some big flashpoint lights. I'm gonna use some soft boxes, some light stands, a reflector, the remote trigger for my self shutter. That way I don't make the camera shake when I am taking the photos. And I'm gonna use some atmosphere smoke to bring in some atmosphere into the photographs. And I'm gonna be filming all this also with my Canon 60 Mark II for behind the scenes. Plus, I'm really excited that I'm gonna be using my V-flat duo boards. They are amazing, they are rigid, they are washable, they are glare resistant, they're very lightweight. They come with legs to put on the side so you don't have to hold them up. They are hyper-realistic with texture and they have a DPI of 1000. And the other great thing is, one side might be dark, The other, it's, a du it's a duo because it's one board and on one side it has one image and on the other side it has a different image. And it's great. You save money that way and they're just excellent. All right guys, so I think that's it. I took a bunch of shots of this shoot of the Harry Potter set. Um, I think it came out really cool. I hope you like these photos and the photos of the baked goods from earlier, that red velvet cake. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll leave the links to everything that you can buy all of it in the description, including the cards from Theory 11. They have amazing cards and just amazing textures. So yeah, enjoy, hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.